Yes, hello everyone. Yeah, today basically we shall be looking at um, an SQL statement generator uh, where you'll be uh, putting English in your uh, input and then to be generating for you the SQL statements. So that way you don't have to memorize like a lot of SQL statements. Yeah. Basically, this is an AI-based application, so we shall be looking at uh, the API that we shall use, which is OpenAI. Yeah, so what you have to do, uh, we'll first move to the browser. So back to my browser. Uh, you can see this is, uh, I'll, I'll just try to demonstrate how the project works. You just have to come here, uh, place in your English statement, uh, maybe like an SQL query to select all records from the table named employee. So when I hit generate, it will fetch that statement for me, just like that. And then I can come here and copy the command uh, the statement sir and then after some seconds this one should close yeah you can toggle here if you want yeah so that's basically the site uh, it can be any other statement here but for demonstration if you want to try out the site you can just come to that URL but I'm going to take you through the code and you see how everything basically works so first we need to start by going to OpenAI. Uh, this is where you create your account and then you can look at some examples here, how they work. So yeah, if you, if you have time, you can go through the documentation, but basically we just come here to preground and then yeah so like you can just type here anything and then uh, it will generate for you the content when you hit submit so let's say we type in right like a tagline tagline for a cake shop and then we submit so we can see here we have some content displayed so let's come here and view the code. As you can see here, we have the configurations for Node.js. We can switch to Python. Yeah. So uh, I tried to make this one in the browser, but if you are using maybe Python, maybe you could use like uh, Django and then uh, you process your content from the API and then display it in the browser. Yeah, but basically for this tutorial, I went with and are not just uh, configurations and I, I produced something in React. So I will show you how everything works. So you can just come and copy this here and then we go to the code. Uh, but what you also need is to get uh, an, API, an API key. So here after creating an account you get an api key so this is what we need you just have to copy this and then uh, that's all so let's head back to our vs code so here in the vs code this is a project structure we have this uh, i will just leave the structure of this code in uh, the description on my github so we have here, yeah, let me just type here npm install. Yeah, so after cloning this repository, you can run npm install to, to install all the dependencies. So the dependencies that are here, uh, we have OpenAI, we have uh, React Bootstrap, the React Loading, uh, React Router DOM, yeah, they use local storage. Basically, this is what I use it for, uh, for the light, for the dark and light theme. Yeah, but remember, when you when you open this project, 
so at first you'll be here so you need to do cd and then go to that uh, project and then run npm install and then after run npm start yeah so that's it that's all so let me come to let me go i'll go to the code so with the react structure we know we start from the index.js where we are rendering our app which is here yeah for me to go to the app i basically pressed here the cursor click and then takes me to the app.js so inside the app.js uh we just collapse this uh i'll just comment this one out first uh maybe if not to confuse you so basically uh in the react we have we have this navbar we have this other what i call the github container so from here to here this is the nav like the navbar so when i go to to my code like in uh sorry to my browser so the nav that i'm talking about is right here this is the nav so i have this main content and then i have this github and then i have the light theme and then this is what i call the sql home like we shall see in the code let's go back so yeah this uh sorry so here i'm just rendering my sql home and then the footer but from here to here this is my navbar uh where i just have uh an href linking to my github and then i have this navbar this is just bootstrap code that you can get the bootstrap site bootstrap uh, site and then i have this uh, light uh, light theme togra yeah so basically this is how my navbar is in the app in the app.js and then right here i'm rendering the sql home this is uh, i can say the most important part of uh, this tutorial or this project uh, so from here um as you can see this is our configuration and then this is our, our form submit function yeah but uh basically before we go that we start from here i have the sql container and then uh, let me just separate them first i have this clipboard just like that so here the on the form container uh, this is where I have a form, a bootstrap form, and I'm, I'm passing in the this function. I'm saying when someone clicks the button, then I want him to or him or she to go to this on form submit button. Uh, so here we have an input which we have given the name of SQL query, and then this is the press holder. Yeah so this is just a span word and then this is where we shall display the content after getting it from the uh, when the ai has delivered the, the statement then we have to display it here yeah so first after submitting here then we shall come to this function here uh, basically we have these states we have the sql statement the error and the copy success and the setting to the loading so first we set the loading is uh, is false by default so we set it true and now here it is like fetching the data for us so we want when we submit the form to prevent the default of reloading so this is the line here on line 16 and then we are getting the content from the form so uh, uh, so from the form we are obtaining the object which is the SQL query. And then we are storing it in this variable. And then from here, on line 20, this is where our configuration that we got from OpenAI open starts from. So you can basically copy this line of code from, from there. Yeah, but what you have to know is that you have to install this 
open AI, like I told you, using npm install. So this is what we have here. And then we can say cost configuration, new configuration, and then API key. This is where we paste our API key that I told you we copy. So when we copy that API key, like mine is, I don't know, I didn't copy it, but you can paste your API here, your API key right here. So if you want to use it directly, then you can put it in quotes like this and you paste it right there. But uh, since I wanted to push, to, 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 uh, to push this code to GitHub, uh, what I did is that I created a .env and then uh, make sure your .env is on the root project directory. Then I created this variable here and then I just pasted the code there. You don't need to put the quotes. So you can just say openai is equal to, and then you paste the, the key in your .env. So once you are done with that step, uh, then this is just the same code that we shall get from the, from the site, and then we have here the model. The model can be, we have Da Vinci, we have this text query 001. Yeah, so it depends on how you want to use it or the model that you want to use. So I uh, will just use text query 001. And then now this prompt is what we shall feed to, what we shall feed in the API in this create comp compression. So we are feeding in the content that we are getting from our form. So like I told you, this is a form data object. And then what we are getting is like an array. So we are saying form data object dot SQL query. Now SQL query is the name, the name that we gave here, which is this one. So I'm using these templates, and then I'm saying uh, feed in this, the form data dot SQL query, and then to process for last. So I'm using here a dot then to get the content, and I'm storing it in this uh, the state of SQL statement. So I'm assigning it this response as an object, which is an object. Then I'm saying, uh, get a response to data at index zero of choices and then get the text. You can construct this, you can construct the response to see how it looks like. Uh, but basically when you break it down, then we shall have something like this. So this will be our response. And as you can see in our here, we set the response to empty at first. So now it's like we have updated our response. So after updating that, then we can come and display it down here. So first we have to check if the length is greater uh, than zero. So if it is greater than zero, uh, then we have here we are displaying the copy success message. Uh, when you click copy, that is it, that's when it will appear because by default it is empty. Yeah, so it is empty. And here, like I told you, after we have gotten our response, then we take, we set the loading to false. So right here, like I was saying, uh, after getting our response, this is where we display it, SQL statement that response. And then here we have a button uh, for copying the statement. So this is a function that on click, copy to clickboard. So when I come to that function, which is right here, uh, basically I'm saying navigator.clipboard.write text, the SQL statement that response. We are just getting the response and then we are setting the copy success message to copy, which is displayed right here. And then uh, we are we are setting as a uh, timeout for us to close uh, that div after three seconds 
uh, we are closing every content that is here we are setting the sql statement to empty so meaning if we set it empty this one will no longer be greater than zero it will be less so basically we shall uh, we shall not display uh, this this one here yeah so uh, at that point that means that we shall be loading it's like we are loading if we don't have the content if we are fetching the content then we shall be having this loader so this loader is defined right here uh, where we have the react loading uh, this one is an, NP, uh, an npm package which you can install it just takes in a type uh, here you can define how you want your loader to, to look like the color the height and then the width yeah, so when you install N when you use npm, then it will install that uh, React loading, which is right there. Yeah, so basically this is what is happening. Uh, the generate. Uh, yeah, so in case we don't get anything, we can set the error true and we get that error. So if you want to reset the form in case. Uh, You've gotten the data, you can just use this command here to reset the input. Yeah, so basically that's 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 all. Uh, so coming back right here, uh, we just have this toggle like uh, for the duck theme, which is basically defined in the in our index of chess. We have this route where we have set our dark theme to dark. Uh, by default, the background will be that, the text primary will be that, and here our root will be white. The primary will be white as well. So when we come to upload chase, so first we get our match media. Uh, uh, which is the, like the preferred color scheme, which is dark, and we check if it matches. So uh, we have here the use local storage where we want to store. So you know, uh, like when you're storing sessions or something like that, you have to store a state. So here we are using uh, local storage to store the state of uh, like the car. So uh, default, it will be dark. So that meaning if we, if we, if we switch the, the theme, then we can toggle from this to this. So we have here function, which is a switch theme. Uh, so we are, we are saying if the theme is light, then on, 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 on switching, on toggling, then set it to dark or set it to light. And then we set the new theme to that new theme. So that is the theme that we shall have to you know display right here so we are saying uh, is theme equal to light then uh, we want to use this icon uh, so when it is light then we have to use this icon to turn back to dark so when it is dark then we have to use this icon to turn to light so basically that is what is happening yeah so that's all about the project if you have any questions you can ask me lastly that i didn't talk about is just a footer yeah which is rendered uh right here so that's all guys i hope uh if you have any questions you ask me down below i will get time to answer but that's all thank you